the life science industry is going through a transformative phase, right? And um, from my own vision and perspective, the fundamental problem in clinical trials is they are conducted in less than 10% of the world's population, while 90% of the world is not as engaged. We have 7,600 clinical trials, for example, active in rare diseases. Only 72 of these clinical trials have a site in India or represented in India, which is less than 0.1%. And that's just doesn't make any sense given how big the Indian population is, for example. And same is true for most other countries in the world. And so uh, that's the fundamental problem that the industry is facing. Two, the inefficiency in the clinical trial process, the what we call the valley of death, is costing billions of dollars and many potentially good candidate drugs that are never seeing the light at the end of the tunnel uh, to patients who are waiting. And that's just not acceptable either. Uh, and these inefficiencies have to be addressed. Third, there is a uh, growing uh, need for better real-time collaboration among biopharmaceutical sponsors, CROs, investigator sites in the context of one clinical trial to collaborate in real time so they can identify any risks and address them head on. You know, take corrective action, preventive action before it's too late. Like we saw the sickle cell disease phase three clinical trial being terminated prematurely by Pfizer recently. And uh, it's actually, they waited two years, you know, since 2022 when the trial started, they just couldn't meet the enrollment goals, even after waiting, keeping it open for two years. You know, in a uh, world where we have five million people suffering from sickle cell disease in sub-Saharan Africa, one million people suffering from sickle cell disease in the tribal populations in India, it's considered a rare disease and an orphan indication in the United States, which is a great opportunity to address it, taking advantage of the Orphan Drug Act of 1983 here in the US. But these fundamental problems are facing uh, the industry right now. On top of this, we have new expectations of ensuring diversity, equity, inclusion, and access with guidelines provided by the FDA. There is Inflation Reduction Act, which is also placing pricing controls on um, critical drugs. Uh, for, and all of these are demanding significant innovation and technology platforms that can help drive more efficiently, reduce cost, and speed up timelines, make it more patient friendly and provide flexible options. Now, this is where uh, we see uh, a huge opportunity for Jiva to be part of the solution.